Okay. It's back together. I had it turning over an hour ago. Had the car hooked on it, doing an oil test. Good thing I did. Because an hour ago, I wasn't getting oil at the exhaust cam. One of the oil jets in the cap was clogged from the assembly lube because it's thick like molasses. So I switched them back and forth, and the oil pressure cleared that out, and I had a big mess of oil all over the place here. Timing is top dead center, number one, exhaust cam level with the head, intake level with the head, dot it's on mark, when these are timed right, cam lobes point in toward the number one plug. Oil pump works fine. I did a, on the bench, I did a side-to-side -side leak test, and I wasn't leaking there, so I just got to get the oil drained out of it and try not to lose too much. Put the valve cover on and manhandle it over to the bike and put a plastic bag over it and call it a day. So I should have it in the, I'll have it in the frame tomorrow, you know, and get carburetors back on it and stuff to fire it back up but yeah it does turn over hard by hand i torque the main bearings to 15 pounds what the honda book said 15 to 18 so i went 15 with the main bearings it said 22 to 25 with the connecting rod bearings on the crank i took them to the 25 pound on the torque wrench and that's it. She's either going to run or blow up. I'm all done sinking piles of money into this. It's just a matter of my time now. So, if everything goes right, I'll have it fired up tomorrow, but... Uh, see? It, no, you don't hear that clunking? Amazing what a different crankshaft new bearings do. Well, that's all I got for now.